Now that we've worked with one of the simplest and most common effects in the timeline effects, the 2D transform, we're going to make things a little more complicated. What I'm going to do is actually take this Arthur video chat clip and take a piece of it and track it to a clip underneath. What I want to do is first of all show you what's playing underneath this clip. So I'm going to place my playhead at the beginning of the clip and play through. As I play through, I see that at first we see him playing over her sitting at the desk. Then I see a reverse angle clip with some camera movement and then back to her at the desk. When I am over this reverse angle, the fact that the screen does not move with the camera movement in that clip makes it pretty obvious that this is a superimposed clip and wasn't actually in the scene. I'd like to fix that. In order to do that, I want to take a piece of this clip and have effects on it that are different from the pieces over the other scene where she's sitting at her desk and there's no camera movement. In this lesson, we're going to quickly set up having a piece of the clip that's separate and then in the next couple of lessons, we're going to take care of that tracking effect. What I want to show you is a quick workflow in the timeline for taking a clip and snipping a piece of it off based on edit points in another track. So the first thing I want to point out, I can use my up and down arrow key to move my playhead to edit points in the timeline, but it will specifically move to edit points in the track where the focuser currently is. So as I do that, it's only moving to edit points at the start and end of this Arthur video clip. But I want to quickly move my playhead to this edit point in track one. To do that, I just hit my page down key to move the focuser, then either my up or down arrow key, depending on where my playhead is, to go to that edit point. I now want to cut an edit in the Arthur clip right where the playhead is. So I'm going to hit page up. Now my focuser is on the right clip and my playhead is right at that edit point. The keyboard shortcut for cutting an edit in a clip is control V. I now have an edit point in this Arthur clip at the same spot as where this other edit point was in track one. So again, to quickly review, I also want to cut an edit point in the clip, even with this other edit point in track one. I'm going to hit page down to move the focuser, the down arrow to move the playhead to that edit point, and then page up to move the focuser into track two. I will then hit control V to create the edit point. I now have a segment of this Arthur clip that is separate and I can add effects to it that are different from what I have on the other two segments of that Arthur clip. The one last piece of preparation I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove the current effects, which will first of all clear the way for the effect that we're going to use instead, and secondly give me an opportunity to show you how to remove timeline effects. I first of all want this comp setting turned off. The effect that we're going to bring in in the next lesson has its own built-in version of this comp setting, so we're not going to use it. If I want to remove an effect that I've placed on the clip in the timeline, I can turn the effect off and on the same way I just did the comp effect by clicking on this little blue light. But that doesn't remove the effect, it just mutes it. If you want to remove an effect completely, I'm going to hold down my Option key and click on that Effect button. You'll notice the effect goes away right away. We saw this earlier where I could Option click a value field to reset it to its default. Similarly, I can Option click an effect to remove it. We now have this section of clip that is now clipped off and ready to be dealt with separately and has no effects applied, so it's a blank slate waiting for the effect we're going to apply in the next lesson.